carnival. Samba beats. Soccer teams. And white sand beaches. The images traditionally associated with Brazil. But today, the world's 11th biggest economy is trying to add another attraction to the list, an information technology market similar in size and sophistication to India's, worth nearly $10 billion. IT and biotech, both, both, both sectors, are growing a lot in, in Brazil. You do have uh, uh, a lot of companies being formed, uh, spin-offs from universities, spin-offs from established companies. And, uh, and the sector is growing. The Brazilian population has long demonstrated its enthusiasm for the world of high tech. In fact, the country is using more homegrown IT in everyday life than either India or Ireland. Uh, take a case of uh, the ATMs here in Brazil. ATMs in Brazil, they provide up to 60 or 74 uh, uh, services that you can really do on the, your ATM. You can pay your uh, uh, pen penalties, you can pay car tickets, you can pay your uh, uh, several things within uh, the ATM. It's not the typical ATM where you just go and withdraw or deposit money. There's also an advanced system of e-government. More than 95 percent of the population uses the internet to pay their income taxes. Because it's very simple. And it's all been very big business for local software firms like CINT, which offers customized IT solutions to industries ranging from insurance and banking to cosmetics and manufacturing. But Brazil exports only 1.5% of its IT production. CINT and others feel it's time to change that. I think um, from past experience of Brazil, Brazil has been looking too much inward because the market was so big. But now there's a huge tendency to start growing outside. Industry leaders say the United States is clearly the market with the most potential for growth. A couple of years ago, the uh, American companies started to outsource most of their IT services. And that became a huge opportunity. Especially with the advantage of being just one time zone away from New York, where CINT has set up shop. Last year, it teamed up with nine other local tech companies to form ActMinds. The group has a staff of over 1,000 specialists in Brazil and a growing list of clients. We took part in, in some very focused trade shows uh, to reach CIOs, the IT directors. Naturally enough, the government is strongly supporting these efforts, especially with funding and other financial incentives. If you compare the infrastructure of Brazil, China, Russia, and India regarding to IT, we have total coverage of energy, telecom. We can produce technology in the deep west, in the deep south, or, or the north of Brazil. The government's goal is for Brazil to have $2 billion in IT software and services exports by 2007. But Brazil still has a lot of catching up to do. Business executives say one of the biggest hurdles is the lack of a large number of people who speak English or have an advanced degree. We do have people going to school very few years. They are not learning enough in terms of comparison to other countries, to other nations. And uh, the school system in itself is selective because if you go not paying, you might not have, you might not have the best education. Some key players in the private sector are taking matters into their own hands. For example, Embraer, the fourth biggest aircraft company in the world. In the past few years, it has spent around $80 million on training and scholarship programs for young engineers and technical students. But uh, I think that if we want to to, re to change this country. This must be done through huge investments in education. This is the basis. It may take longer, yes, it will take longer, but we'll get there one day. Selling itself internationally as the country of choice for IT outsourcing may not be easy, but Brazil's determined to seize the opportunities on offer and finally cash in on what's now being called the best kept secret in software development.